everyone, my name is Gladys and I am a toddler mom of one. Um, it's currently 7.48 in the morning and I am on my way to pick up Ziggy, our dog, from boarding. We boarded him yesterday because we went to a baseball game and we knew we were going to be home late and we didn't want him alone for all that time so we put him in daycare doggy daycare and then straight into boarding and um i mean he absolutely loves going to daycare and everyone there absolutely loves him so we weren't worried at all um i'm actually picking up ziggy right now um and then taking him to austin now i'm taking him to austin to stay with one of her best friends who also has a dog and the reason for that is well ziggy's suffering from separation anxiety it's so severe that um we basically can't leave him alone and he also hates his crate he goes crazy in his crate we had the wire crate we changed it to like the airline airline type crate um but yeah we're hoping that um we can try and figure something out for him all right we've got ziggy in the back he's so happy <laughs> to be in his donut bed hi handsome and we're gonna get on our way got Ziggy. Wes had to drive to California from Texas to pick him up at my parents' house. My parents had him for almost a week from the breeder and I know they mentioned that he was crying a lot, he always needed to be around someone and we thought it was just because he was being separated from his mom and his siblings and you know we will probably be okay in a few days especially after we get him settled here in Texas. Um, so we attributed it to normal puppy behavior. We tried crate training right away and potty training right away. Um, he was behind on his shots because once the breeder, once we committed to Ziggy from like the breeder, he did not take Ziggy for his second round. So we took him for a second round right away. And I mean, separate at this point we didn't even know that he had separation anxiety i thought we were we, we thought it was just like normal puppy behavior new puppy behavior um because we've had puppies before and it was similar but he um would just freak out in the crate so we got him a second round of shots kind of talked to the vet about it and we you know tried to do some things and at this point we couldn't start puppy school like we wanted to start puppy school almost immediately but because he was behind on shots, he couldn't get his rab rabies until the third round. Um, we were confined in the house at this point with him. Um, you know, we were overly cautious. He wasn't puppy complete yet, so we weren't taking him to dog parks or sniffing grass outside our home or anything. Just um, potty outside in our backyard and come back in and we try to burn off that energy inside. And we did work on some some basic commands. Like before we even started training, he knew how to sit and down already. Uh, so we noticed that whenever we would crate him, you know, most dogs will stop crying and whining after about, you know, after a few minutes, 15 to 20 minutes, I think is what our vet told us. And, you know, we'll go there and we have toys in there. We had food in there, we had treats for him, and we would reward him when he would quiet down. But it 
was really bad one day that he was clawing his way out of the wire crate that he got his paw stuck um, in between his fingers. And we were able to get him out. Obviously it was painful for him and it was painful for us to watch. And he was biting us the entire time that we were trying to free him from it. And thankfully he did not injure himself. I'm sure it hurt him, but he did not seriously injure himself. He was, he was essentially fine, except that's what really told us that, you know, this is beyond normal puppy behavior in a new crate. Like, he's not really taking to his crate. We've covered it. We've uncovered it. We've um, sat with him. We've left the TV on. We've had music playing. Nothing was really working. And um, our future trainer suggested some melatonin, like a low-dose melatonin. And it worked great the first night. And then it was like you were giving him a sugar pill after that. We talked to our vet and our vet gave us um, trazodone. Low dose, use it as needed, and worked great the first few days. And then again, sugar pill. But at this point he was so small we couldn't really up the dose. And I was trying to not give him trazodone. But as it progressed on, we were able to do training puppy training i mean he, he's puppy training complete like the level one um it's just getting progressively worse at this point um he'll follow us from room to room and he's potty trained he's completely potty trained but he will soil his crate if he's in there and we had to leave one time we had to go to the emergency room because wes got sick and I, we had no choice but to put him in the crate because he was just trying to destroy everything and we didn't want him to destroy everything one and also hurt himself but i would check the security camera inside our home and he was screaming and crying the entire time which obviously being in the er i couldn't really do much so i talked to Rovet. um he <laughs> is on prozac he's on trazodone and nothing is really helping so we finally were able to get into puppy daycare because we were behind on shots from the breeder we couldn't get in until he was puppy complete and once we got him in daycare all that puppy energy was burnt off especially because he was also doing training on the side but he still would not take to his crate we actually got rid of the wire crate because he had bent it on the side and in the front and he soiled it so much that there was just no cleaning it like we couldn't clean it to where it would be sanitary for everyone um we got an airline crate like one of those enclosed plastic crates which works way better he's actually going in there we're giving all of his meals in there he'll stay in there but we're still not able to shut him in there like he is not he won't crate train and we're not using the crate as a punishment never have never will we don't believe in that um, but he has a much better relationship with this airline crate But he still won't go in there For us to shut we can't st we still can't leave him and actually before I took him to Austin it's gotten so bad that We have someone has to be home at all times with him or he will freak out One good thing though because of daycare we're burning off all that puppy energy we have been off trazodone for over a week which is great like i don't want him to be on trazodone for an extended period of time the daycare that we've been taking him into not every day a few days a week just to get him socialized as well has been working on us with crate training him if they'd have nap time he'll go in a crate and sleep in there and we've boarded him twice already and he'll sleep in the crate but he won't do it at home it's you know, they've talked to me about it. It's monkey see, monkey do. He sees other dogs doing it, so he'll do it. He's fine with it. Um, but we don't have another dog. It's certainly not 20 other dogs during the day. Um, so that's why I took him to Austin. My sweet, sweet friend, my savior, Hannah, um, has a lab, a white lab. We are trying to see if we can essentially do the monkey see, monkey do thing in a home setting, not daycare setting. And um, we don't know how long it's gonna take. We're taking it day by day, but it's really helping that he's seeing another dog go in a crate because 
her dog Posey is crate trained. She's wonderful. Uh, but that's why I dropped him off yesterday. I didn't film any of it because I didn't want to make him any more anxious. I was in and out of her apartment trying to see how he would react, like slowly bringing his stuff in, walking out, walking in. Um, so far he's doing well and he's going in, like they, they had an extra wire crate for him. And so far he's going in the crate, and, but any progress that she makes with Ziggy is a huge help to us, especially because we have a toddler. But um, if you have, if you guys have any, any suggestions about dealing with a husky, a young puppy husky is about four months with severe separation anxiety, please send them my way. We are trying everything. Um, we are trying this before we actually do the um, dog behavioral specialist route because the doctor that our vet recommended is $350 an hour. We are going to try and help Ziggy the best we can and if if we exhaust all of our options and that's really what we have to do then that's what we have to do but right now he seems to be doing really well with Posey. It's only been a day so far though. It seems to be going well and We'll see, because he knows how to crate in a daycare setting. We'll see if he can do it in a home setting. Um, so yeah, I will keep you guys updated. If you are not subscribed yet, please consider subscribing. I will be updating you guys on our journey with this little husky. I refuse to give up on him. He has, like my, my, my child has formed a bond with him. It's just so sweet. Um, but yeah. I will 